Hi, welcome. Uh, so today I'm going to go through my process for painting uh, Lost in the River Sticks. So the idea was that this is basically a lost soul floating in the river and that's Charon, the, the boat keep, the boat uh, man, he's basically in the background. And so the first thing I did was I used mineral spirits and oil and I used straight up uh, I think ultramarine blue, I use some turquoise, and I use some uh, purple. Uh, and I basically created this nice wash. And it was so liquidy that I used the paper towel to smudge it and kind of blend it back and forth. Then what I did was I you know, started working on the body, and as you can see I'm starting to paint in the hair. I'm trying to get an idea of what contrast and what value uh, I'm looking at. The big thing that I was always struggling with with this painting was the simple fact that the reference that I had wasn't quite right. Uh, no matter what I chose, it just didn't show really anything that I that I really needed. You know, so it was very it was very off every time I tried to do it. And so you'll see here as I uh, am putting a darker coat. Uh, I think this is Payne's gray. And I'm just kind of painting on top of it and I'm using uh, paper towel and my fingers to kind of smudge things back and forth especially with the clouds uh, and I felt that give gave it more of an airier feel and as I do this uh, you can see I just keep going back and building up layers and layers of, of paint now back to the reference with the reference I, I really struggled um, you know, everything that I found was either fully submerged in water or it was completely like uh, just wrong angle it was it just didn't look right the, the there were so many issues with the reference and I wound up trying to build a 3d scene and building up a 3d you know in 3ds max and I, I built up a model and I posed it and you'll notice that and you'll notice that I do make some changes along the way. Um, the original mock-up I had a lot more skulls floating on and I felt that the skulls that I were using, was using to basically uh, work with everything, the, there was too many of them and they were overpowering the main figure and Charon. Um, I was really trying to focus on the main figure and then having uh, the boat keeper in the back. And so you'll notice that you know, as I continue to paint this and I'm, I'm moving forward and working on it, I'm really trying to get that image, you know, the correct kind of line work, the correct kind of aspects. And I wound up faking it with 3D. I wound up uh, grabbing a model and in 3D and posing it. And then with that in mind, then I put an image plane in there and I basically assigned it a water style image and that really helped kind of give me an idea of like how things were floating and you'll notice I go back and kind of adjust the arms um, especially the breasts uh, 3d models of course don't have natural forming breasts so I made a lot of adjustments to those and you'll notice I, I go back and keep filling in and working getting darker and darker with the paint so here I'm working on kind of uh, getting more of the silhouette of the hand so you feel like she's floating in that and then as I go through I'm also putting in darker shades of purple to kind of define where she's floating and I also wanted this under light so I have a you know, very slight light so the water is basically casting a shadow and the lights coming from underneath and as you can see here I'm just kind of you know, hand painting in some of the, the highlights and details and I always feel like I have to wait until the end uh, to get those in um, you always want to have the paint dry a little bit more I felt like if if it's wet when I'm painting the highlights it would cause a little bit more uh, flow brush muddiness so I didn't really like it um, and so you can see the the breasts don't look naturally uh, they're just awkward so um, you know I, I 
kind of worked on basically finding the right reference for the anatomy and then I also tried to find the right reference for the use of gravity. Um, and then as I did this, I felt like the body was taking up too much, uh, too much impact as a whole. I wanted to have it more focused on the face. So that's why I painted the lower torso. I painted it more with the sea greens and things like that. And then for the skulls, I worked on the skulls a lot. I was trying to kind of dull them down and create a little bit more of that feeling like they're floating in the depths. And so that was another, uh, another aspect of going in and working on this. And when I was looking at re reference, I was trying to consider doing reference myself. And I just, uh, the painting was done during the winter time. I couldn't find any riverbanks or anything like that that were unthawed and Wisconsin and then I also uh, kind of struggled with some of the other aspects of just photo taking and stuff like that um, so as you can see I'm painting in you know darker shades and I'm just going through and kind of working on a lot of the water um, I'm trying to mute those skulls in the background so that they don't they don't really uh, pop as much and even even in the foreground you'll see me kind of over uh, glazing over the foreground elements too and here I'm going through and I'm, I'm basically adding in more uh, more detail into the clouds I felt like they just they were too bland and I kind of also put in more like fog in the foreground so it was like Sharon was going through the fog and splitting the fog and you'll notice at this point, I kind of step away a lot more uh, as I paint because I'm looking at like the composition as a whole. I felt like the elements were there, but I felt like my eye wasn't being drawn in a certain area. And here I went through and found the actual, like I went and found an actual Greek boat and I, I used that boat as kind of a basis for uh, my, my, my process. And then what I did was ultimately go through and just start detailing up uh, different aspects. So then the next thing I did was I'm working on Charon um, and I didn't want to put too much detail in it, um, but I did want to get enough detail that it felt like it was an old man. And I used the, uh, the, the light in the front to basically reflect a little bit more kind of that that aspect and some of these lights like I, po I paint in there and then I'll let them dry and then I'll go over and cover it back up again so it feels like that the water is taking some of those highlights um, and as I paint you know as I continue to paint and kind of work on the skulls and try and pull those skulls out a little bit more but I'm also trying to push them in a little bit more too um, and that's a little bit of glazing going back and forth with the transparent purple and kind of rubbing it over after it dries I felt like painting is you know kind of the process and and I keep doing layers of hair and I keep pushing the darks um, you know I want that dark hair to feel wet and so I keep I push the darks and I add a little bit of highlight where it's kind of leading up into it um, that is a, uh, a quick process I work on and then again I felt like at this point I added too much highlights and I'm kind of refining the shape and, and working on that a little bit more um, and then even kind of going through and kind of defining the shadows a little bit more I want more of that darkness or uh, more of the light to come from the boat instead of uh, everything else and so it's just a matter of going in and adding in details and kind of pushing in more shadows and you can see here I'm still fading out some of those skulls I don't want them uh, very very bright I want them to be more in the background and less focused on than the character and so that's uh, another thing that I did unfortunately I bumped the camera a little bit so it's gonna take me a second to respond to that and then as you can see I'm painting in the highlights underneath so basically you get that light glow underneath of the skulls and this can be actually done really simple I did it in 3d 
I threw in some, some basic skulls and kind of let them float in there. And it gave me a really good idea of like where the light go went on these 3D forms. There's a lot of great 3D models out there that you can use to kind of mock up the scene. There we go, we fixed the camera. And then as I go, I'm continually adding in more detail into the, the fabric. Um, I, I grabbed a lot of fabric that was in the water, like wedding dresses and things like that. And that was a, a big help for me. Um, but uh, unfortunately, a lot of the uh, reference that I had just was from poor angles. And I it just I couldn't translate that into that angle. And then here, I'm just kind of touching up and adding in more details. And I'm also pushing, pushing back the Charon. I didn't want that to be the, the primary focus, so I wanted the main focus to be the, the girl floating in the water. And so as I go, you can see that, that I'm kind of adjusting things and kind of just adding a little bit more highlights where I feel like things should pop a little bit more. And I've even pushed back, I feel like I pushed back the skulls quite a bit. Um, I pushed back these the back skulls in the water and I've added in other elements. And so that's pretty much the basics of what I've done for this uh, particular picture. Um, I, I think the biggest struggle I always have is finding the right reference. And I usually don't realize I don't have the right reference until about halfway in the painting when I'm trying to accomplish something. So that's something that I always kind of struggle with. And sometimes 3D works and sometimes it doesn't. But I wanted to thank you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And I hope you uh, enjoy.